those of you who don't know, back in primary school, I played a bit of piano myself, right? They compared me to a modern day Beethoven. That's right. I was the god of the piano. The god of the piano. And today I'm going to show that to you guys. I'm going to show my skills and you guys will understand what they were talking about. What all the hype was about. What's up guys, Mr. Miola here back with another Scrap Mechanic video. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of them, make sure to go ahead and... Let me catch my breath for a second. Push that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. It's the only way I know what you want to see. Now you guys have been constantly, constantly, constantly since last Friday telling me about this new Scrap Mechanic update. And I'm sorry for not covering it sooner. I'm assuming a lot of people have already. But um, this is really the first time I've had to play with these uh, new blocks that have been introduced to the game. So I showed you guys last week uh, when the Scrap Mechanic devs released their latest dev blog, which was Dev Blog 7. These new, I guess they're called like farm bot heads, but they're actually, oopsie, hold on, let me uh, let me go and get out of this mode. They're actually called, I think, tote bot heads. Yes. Now, um, these I'm guessing are going to be sort of part of what's obtainable in the survival mode, but we're not going to get into that. We're going to be playing with these four blocks today. The sole purpose uh, of these, which I'm assuming most people know by now, is they create music. And they got these sweet ass little faces on them, which I think is so, so cute. And uh, what happens when you press the button is the face like animates. We got that one. We got this one. We got the red one and the green one. And they are awesome. I love the little faces on them. This is so cool. Um, but um, yeah, enough about that. Let's, let's get into what these things are. So each of the four sort of symbolize a different instrument. We have the blue one, which is the bass. We have the yellow one, which is the percussion. The red one, which is synth. And the green one, which is blip. And let me show you exactly how they work. So we can actually open them up. And uh, we basically have a whole range of notes that we can play with and modify and uh, do what we want with sort of things. Depending on where you hit it, you get different sort of sounds from it. So you've got two complete octaves. You've got C to, I think, B, and then C to B again. So you've got, like, the deeper sounds and then the same notes in, like, a higher range, which I think is really cool. You can sort of, I don't know, you sort of need two octaves to play some good music. So um, that's really, really cool. So which one was this? I can't actually remember. That was the, uh, the bass. Next one, we have percussion. This is my favorite. And the reason for that is it gets a little bit more interesting than the other one. You've got sort of five different variants of noises it can make. You've got five types of kicks. Which, they're my, probably my favorite. They're probably my favorite sound out of all of them. You got five types of snares. Five hi-hats. Five glitch sounds. And then five miscellaneous. <laughs> Some of these are actually pretty cool though. Um, and then obviously you move on to the other two. I think this one was uh, synth. So this is sort of like a voice. I guess it's to symbolize like a voice, kind of like singing type of thing. I don't really know what you can do with that one there. And then you've got blip, which is uh, sort of like, oh, uh, sort of like video game music type of stuff. Have a listen. This is something about it that reminds you of like the old Mario levels. I'm talking like Super Nintendo Mario. Do, 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 do. I don't know, but it's really, really cool. And um, obviously, I've hooked these up to little buttons. So basically, you can just press the buttons to activate them like that. You can also connect them to switches, but obviously, just like it doesn't really do anything. It just makes the one sound. So there's no point really using switches. You can also connect them to sensors. So <laughs> you can do that sort of thing if that's what you're after. What we're going to do now, we're going to switch to a world uh, of a creation that's made by two guys that are fairly regular, I guess, scrap mechanics and uh, users of the scrap mechanics subreddit has been bag and Lego freak. And uh, they've created something really, really cool and allowed me to show it off. So thank you so much, guys. Let's get over there. So guys, welcome to Drum Studio. This was created by Has Been Bad and Lego Freak. I'm going to have links on the screen to both of their YouTube channels. You can actually find the download for this if you want to have a play for it for yourself at Has Been Bad's channel. So um, go check them, their channels out. they got some really cool creations on them. Has Been Bad created this awesome Flintstone mobile for one of the uh, subreddit challenges where it like runs on its feet. It actually looks really, really cool. And Lego Freak is currently working on this Loop Studio thing, which is another sort of music maker that looks really, really awesome. So I'm really excited to check that out. So go check out both of those guys. So I guess I'll show you what is potentially doable with these little musical instruments. So... This is kind of a little bit of a piano that uh, they set up and I kind of modified a little bit because I've been practicing guys. I have been practicing a performance to show you guys. It's going to be, it's going to be special. It's going to be magical. It's going to be the performance of the century. Guys, 
I introduce to you. Here we go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go, guys. Here we go. So, the first, so for those of you who don't know, back in primary school, I played a bit of piano myself, right? They compared me to a modern day Beethoven. That's right. I was, I was the god of the piano. The god of the piano. And today I'm going to show that to you guys, all right? I'm going to show that to you. I'm going to show my skills and you guys will understand what they were talking about. What all the hype was about. Guys, I bring to you a rendition of one of the greatest, most difficult songs to play on piano of all time. I may even sing along with it. Here we go. <coughs> Are you ready? Let's do it. The itsy bitsy spider walked up the water spout. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again Woo! how was that how was that i know i know that's all right you don't have to tell me how good i was but if you thought that was amazing go ahead and punch that thumbs up <laughs> oh god that was terrible all right let me show you the main event this here is the drum studio i've wasted enough time now let me show you this marvelous creation and what it's all about so basically um it's this massive sort of pedestal thing and what you do is you hit a button turn it on and it spins on the spot that isn't all though it's basically based around sensors so if you can see inside of there there's a couple sensors in there and I'll show you what they do in a second. But you also have a uh, four sensors on this arm here. And basically what you do, you uh, choose which ones you want to activate. You don't have to activate all of them, but you can if you want to. And um, basically they sense which of these controllers has turned out. Each of those controllers is connected to one of these switches, right? So um, basically if we go and... I guess we'll go and hit this one. Let's go and hit four of them just so we can find the right ones. And so we should have... Four of them that are stuck out, okay? So when this is going to rotate, what's going to happen is the sensor is going to pick up on these here sticking out. And uh, basically, you hear them make some noise. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to turn all four of these off. We're going to hit this little red button here to start it spinning. We're going to turn on all of these. And what they do is turn all the sensors to face what's going on. And you can already start hearing it. So... Let's go and try and make some music. <laughs> that sounds alright. Alright, alright. Now we gotta get this one here, right? <laughs> yeah. Isn't this cool? Maybe it's a bit much. <laughs> Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, I like this. Let's go and uh, let's go and throw some kicks on these. Let's go and throw some kicks. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we're talking. All right, let's go throw some this one here. <laughs> Now we're getting somewhere. Let's modify these a little bit now. So I'm gonna go. It might be a little bit too much bass. I think there's too much kick going on. But um, the cool, the cool part is what we can actually do is modify them with different types of blocks. So what we can actually do, let me just make sure I'm, I'm gonna do the right one here. Uh, what's gonna be the easiest one to change? Let's go and pop this bad boy off. Throw that on there. And then we're going to somehow have to connect this to the second one. Nope. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Oh, well, I don't even know what I got. I don't even know what I got there. So I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Alright. So as you can tell, it's making different noises already. Let's go and get rid of that. 
Let's see what happens when we hit all of them on. <laughs> this is... Oh, it's too in my head and I gotta get away from it. I think we've created a masterpiece. <laughs> so the reason I wanted to show you this, guys, was it's it's a way of showing you what is what the potential is to do with these musical instruments. Oh my god, I gotta turn these off. I gotta turn these off. Dude. The problem is, now it has to spin backwards, I think. Maybe not. Maybe that doesn't happen that way. Cool. Yeah. All right. So it's not that bad after all. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. It's a great... I don't know. These music blocks seem like they're going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of things you can do with them. Um, a lot of people are sort of making like music strips that you can drive a car along and I guess play music that way which is another really cool option uh, if you want to create music with these things but yeah this is it these are the music block guys i hope you like them um i'd love to see some of your creations with them so if you do have creations that you've made out of these music blocks or whatnot i mean send them to miolasm at gmail.com that's where uh, i kind of let you guys email me your creations for me to check out or you can just let me know down in the comments because I, I go through there and I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if it lets you post video links down there. But if it does, go ahead and link your videos and maybe people can go and check them out. But uh, that is all, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to head over to Has Been Bad and Lego Freaks YouTube channels and check out their awesome creations because they're a lot of fun. They're really, really cool. So if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next Scrap Mechanic video very, very soon. Bye for now. Just wanna move with you